When you are trying to decide what PvE build to use, I'm sure a light crossbow comes to mind. It's extremely effective when fam farming and pretty important in HCEs. However, using the HCE meta light crossbow build can be a little bit tricky at first. This is exactly what you are going to learn by the end of this video. How to use the HCE meta light crossbow build. After the recent mace nerf, HCEs have slightly changed. The Frost DPS build has made its way back into the meta for higher level HCEs, causing the light crossbow users to not use the royal robes as often. That's because with the team composition of Tank, Healer, Frost, Expo, and Shadowcaller, the Frost brings a royal robe and the Expo brings a Druid robe for max efficiency. However, in this video, I'll not only be going over the rotations for the Expo build using the Druid robe, but also the alternate builds using the Royal robe and the Royal jacket. Let's go ahead and move on to the build itself. For the helmet, you'll be using a Royal cowl, and the ability you want to use is Perpetual Energy, which prevents you from using any energy at all over the span of 15 seconds. The passive you want to use is Aggression, which basically just increases your damage. Looking at the Royal Robes, the ability Magic Rune provides increased magical damage and reduces cast times for 5 allies within its 5 meter aura. This ability stacks. The passive is the same as the Helmet, Aggression, which just increases damage. For the Druid Robe, the Obsessive Burst ability increases damage and stacks up to 6 times. The passive is the exact same as the Royal Robes passive. The Royal Jacket, which is mainly used in other activities like Tier 8 Dungeons and or for boss swaps if the tank requests it, provides the ability of Royal Banner, which creates an aura that increases up to 5 players' cooldown rates and their attack speeds. The Expo's first slot ability that you should be using is Explosive Bolt. It's your main damage dealer and probably one of the most important abilities. It's an explosive shot that deals a lot of damage. The second ability you should be using is Call Traps. This ability shoots a trap and slows any enemy that steps on it and deals some damage. It also increases your move speed. The third ability is Exploding Shot. It's pretty much like a sticky grenade that deals damage when stuck to an enemy and deals big damage when it explodes. Finally, the passive Well Prepared resets your first slot ability after every 4 spell casts. As your offhand, you'll be using a Crypt Candle. It increases your magical ability bonus. As a cape, you'll be using the Sierra Leone cape, which resets your weapon's first slot ability when you use your weapon's first slot ability. For the food, if you can afford it, bring Dead Water Eel Stew, which increases damage and cooldown rates by 9.5%. If you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on the food, or can't afford it, then you can buy Pork Omelets, which are a good, cheap alternative. And finally, for the potions, you're going to want to bring Invisibility Potions and Poisons. Now, the important part. How do you actually use this build? Starting off with the Druid Robe variation, you start off by using D, which is your Helmet Perpetual Energy ability, then go to R, which is your Chest ability, Triple Q, use E, which is the Explosive Sticky Grenade, then F for Invisibility, and you get Double Q again. At this point, you should be receiving the Royal Jacket ability from some of your teammates, so then whatever abilities you have to fill until you can double Q again, you use. And then, finally, you repeat this rotation once your cape resets. Real quick, if you guys are enjoying the video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more Albion Online content. Moving on to the Royal Robe variation, it's going to have the same exact rotation as a Druid Robe, which is your D, your R, Triple Q, E, F, double Q, and then whatever filler abilities you have available. Once again, you'll probably be receiving your cooldowns at this time, so you should get your F back fairly soon, and you want to use your F, which is your invisibility, as soon as you have it. And finally, once your capability resets, you can go ahead and repeat the rotation. Moving on to the Royal Jacket. The Royal Jacket variation is the only one that is going to have a different rotation. So, before you actually engage in combat, you're going to want to use your W ability to get one consecutive spell built up. Then once you do that and the tank is about to stun, you then use your D, then triple Q, your E, your F, 
your double Q, and then at this point, you can use your royal jacket and possibly a W, whatever filler abilities you have available, and then keep repeating the double Q until your cape resets like before. Let's go ahead and check out what a live demo would look like. Unfortunately, the other DPS and I used our robe abilities at the same time. I was running royal robes to get spec in it, so this is usually never an issue with the druid robe. Immediately, you can see I use D, and then R, and then triple Q. I follow it with a W and an E because my invis was still on cooldown, and then another double Q. I then use my invisibility and then my Q as it was the first ability off cooldown. I could have waited the extra second for W, but it ends up like being, I think, half a second faster if I would have done that in this situation. So either way, it works well. As you can see, I get my double Q, and then you just keep repeating this process until you get your cape ability reset. Well guys, that sums up the guide. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you did. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.